Welcome back everybody, it's Austin Tatius here and today's video is going to be an S-Class Alien mid-rifle. It's a green rifle with a turquoise and dark sort of black multicoloured barrel. It's a crystal clip, uh, crystal barrel and it's got rear spikes. Um, so we're currently in Euclid which is the starting galaxy and this is a Viking tier 3 rich affluent economy. So all the ships, um, you've got a 2% chance of getting practically everything in this system as an S-Class, including the multi-tools. The cabinet is just a C-Class, it's a natural C-Class, standard system pistol, so we won't bother with that. Um, there's a couple of nice ships in this system. Um, there's one nice, fairly nice Alpha Fighter um, and a fairly nice Viper Fighter as well. Um, so if you're patient and sort of wait for the S classes at trade posts um, They will show up Your portal planet is going to be this one um, Ruren core. It's a, um, a Sort of hex plated planet where you get those hexa plants the, the base glitch items So you can't actually search for multi tools on those type of planets because there's no minor settlements on the special planets um, so you'll portal into this planet, you'll need to reload your save on this planet and then fly to the only ringed planet in the system which is this one here, 1M Reno. This took me four minor settlements to find the S-Class, so a really quick search. Um, and yeah, this is where the S-Class cabinet is, it's located on 1M Reno. So we're going to head to the portal planet now. Um, obviously you, you won't be on the space station, you'll be on the planet, so all you'll need to do is just jump in your ship, jump back out again, um, so it creates the auto save and then reload that save. Right, get those freighters out of the way and we can get going. So yeah, this is um, this is a plated planet. Um, it's one of those hexa planets um, that has those um, hex plants. Like they normally glow up um, a sort of yellow or orange type of colour. Um, but this this planet is actually sort of a monochrome planet as well. So um, they normally show as like a yellowy orange hue, like a glow. Uh, but this one, because it's a monochrome. They're, they're all a, a bluey colour and you'll see in a minute like my my as you'll see the the trail there of my thrusters is blue so the starship trail is blue but as we get down to the planet you'll see it change colour because it's a monochrome it's going to red with green burners now or orange with green burners and you'll see the, the plants because of the monochrome finish to this planet instead of being orange and yellow they're blue and they actually look really good especially with a purple sky it's quite a nice planet this um, they're just a bit of a nightmare to try and find these um, hexaplant things um, so yeah this is the portal planet just reload your save which is what I'm doing here And I'll quickly show you the glyphs because this is where you're going to be spawning. You'll need to use the glyphs at the bottom left of your screen now. So those glyphs there are going to take you directly to this planet. As soon as you get through the portal, find your ship, get in your ship, get back out again, reload the save. And then we're going to head to the S-Class cabinet now. So the coordinates are plus 2.50 and minus 131.29. And I've put a save beacon and comm station down. Um, I do that for every uh, minor settlement S-Class that I find. 
um, just to hopefully make it easier for, for some people. It, it won't show for everybody because I do play on various modes um, in various galaxies and stuff. I'm always on PC. Um, but yeah, I kind of split my finds across normal, permadeath, and survival. Survival's where I play most of um, my things on No Man's Sky. And I tend to be in Isentown more than anywhere else these days. But this is Euclid, and this is my normal save in Euclid. Yeah, there's no landmarks really to keep an eye out for. So just to confirm the coordinates are here, my, uh, plus 2.50 and minus 131.29. And here she is. So it's a really nice dark green skin with a turquoise and sort of a, a peachy plum two-tone barrel crystal and clip crystal with rear spikes. And it's called the Negative Dopeork Harmonizer. And I'm going to quickly show you in first person so you can just see the crystals and the finish and stuff. In sort of different lights. then get to this little dark area and here's the 360 and it's got a blue uh, trigger sort of a blue little trim there on the on the butt and yeah the, the, that sort of crystal color goes quite well with this green a plum and turquoise I'd call that two-tone crystal so there we have it the planet details are going to be on your left now so details on the left and resources and coordinates on the right and once again I've got quite a few more videos to come and I've got a massive backlog of tools and hopefully see you in the next couple of videos take care and I'll see you soon